So, to get into the false reef, I'm going to go into a reverse Silahiva. Okay? This is going to be my best and most effective entry. Yes, there's shin on shin. Yes, there's like a butterfly entry. But for, for beginners who start learning a, a false reef, the easiest way I found is to go into a reverse Silahiva. Okay? Uh, who here is not familiar with the reverse de la Hiva? So for a reverse de la Hiva, guys, look, this inside leg <coughs> weaves through the inside. Look at, look at where his, his uh, shin is. It's in my groin, right? If you didn't like me, you can kick me there and it'd be a bad day, right? My foot comes up and just hugs the outside hip, okay? Helper to the hip. That's it. Okay, regular de la Hiva, reverse de la Hiva. Okay, reverse de la Hiva will always open up a bunch of different traits. Right? So, when I'm here, look, I'm in the reverse de la Hiva. What happens a lot, guys, is they'll start trying to peel this leg. Did you guys agree? Right? They'll start peeling, they'll start crowding, and so forth. Exactly. Now, if you guys look, the de la Hiva is still there. Okay? But now what happens is my hand, guys, my hand becomes an anchor point now, okay? Look, anchor point, here. My leg weaves through here. And it, I'm going step by step, nice and slow, so you guys can see where, where these points of contact are, right? Now, flexibility. A lot of people are like, I'm not that flexible. Yeah, you're probably not, but you don't have to, right? Because now look, as I come up, I hug, okay? I'm gonna load his knee to my chest. Then this leg will swim around, guys, into the crevice of his, of his, of his groin, basically, right? So as I come up, I'm here, look, I load him. See how easy that was? You guys see that? My leg kicks out, okay? Making it easier as I load him to my diaphragm. Make sense? Right? From here, look. I'm loaded into the, into the false reap. This is the false reap here. How I finish the false reap is a slight inversion. Now, there's some big individuals in here. Don't think I have to fully polo meow invert into, like on my shoulders, okay? It's really just a spin, all right? So as I'm here, look, I spin. And we fall into the leg lock position, okay? When it's done dynamic, this leg comes out automatically. When it's done stagnant, kind of slow, of course everything will be good. Make sense? But if we look, take the position I'm in. Who here leg locks? Plus some manos, a couple of you guys, All right? What do I have here? Center, whatever I want. When I start working here, right? It starts kicking, whatever it is. Get this leg trying to peel, trying to peel my arm, whatever it is. I got a lot of shit. Right? Now, do I have to finish the leg lock? No. I can always come up. Okay? So, look, where, can, where else can I get this from? Again, guys, if you guys look, I can get it from possible shin on shin and so forth. Okay? But again, we're going to start with reverse delay. Okay? Here, look. <clears throat> up. Make it easy for you guys. Where am I? I'm hugging, I'm hugging. Right now, a lot of people are like, well, what What if he starts like sprawling or whatever it is? Just take him down, right? It's that simple. You have the legs. So now look, comes up, I load him, my leg inside, okay? Leg inside, that's it. Now, here. You can see I just, Roly poly is what I call it. That's not an inversion. I just roll. I still kept control. The back of the knee is the weakest point for me that I feel is the best grip. Right? My foot is active on the butt. Okay? This foot here can do whatever it wants to do. Okay? I like to just add pressure depending on what he's doing, how he's react, reacting to this, it will determine what else I do with it. Make sense? Comes out, I can always just push, boom, here. Those of you that leg lock, this is weak. 
far side finish. Okay, do I have an E-bar? Potentially. Make sense? Okay. <coughs> so, here, we'll make it easier too. If you don't want to do a reverse Elahiva because you have knee problems, trust me. So do I. <laughs> right? Look, it's that simple where he can come in, give me slight pressure on my chest to make this easier. My foot, I can work nice and slow. Make it in. Those of you that are faster, more dynamic, by all means, shoot it from a reverse Elahiva. Make sense? Right? We're not all young bucks anymore. Right? Now look, I'm here, I load. Now one thing is, when I invert, I don't keep his weight completely on me for too long. The inversion has to come in pretty quick, right? Because he's gonna start defending this. And the way he defends it will be a heavy, heavy sprawl with head control. Okay, which I'll show you guys afterwards. Okay, but from here, look. I shoulder roll to this shoulder. Here, boom. We're going to work. Again, I have here, I have here. Yes, you can finish your hooks here. I prefer this. You could have felt it, his body tensed up immediately. It's my entire back taking that instead of just this. This is weak. This is money. Make sense? Cool. So we're here. Boom. Here. Those of you that are dynamic, look. Instantly in. Those of you that are older, just like me. Up, load, in. You move him, okay? You load him. And again, guys, boom, we're going to work. Here, okay? It's an advanced movement, so don't feel bad if you can't get it right off the bat. Raise your hand. Hold that Magnet up. stance here, guys. We'll be covered tonight, just the false, the basic false reef entry. Show it from two different angles, two different entries, and so forth. Reverse the heel wise right? Anchor point, anchor point, anchor point. A lot of people will start peeling that, and that's when I come up. When I come up, it's kind of like a modified shit on shin, I'll show that next. I have my arm, the back of the knee, eventually gonna load them to my sternum, leg kicks out. Here, okay? Now look, as I spin here, my leg comes out, I keep control of the back of the knee, I attach myself to the heel, and crank. From a shin on shin position, it's basically the same thing. I play a lot of low X here, Right, look, if I'm low X, he wants to kill my shin on shin and or my low X by coming in with pressure. Exactly, so now look, I let him believe he's in winning the game. Arms wrapped around the knee, still from the shin on shin. I drop to my inside knee, here. And begin the inversion, half inversion, same position, here, here, here. Cool. 